हम लोग अपना वही वाला डायग्राम बना लेते हैं ठीक है इसमें डॉर्सल एंड ट्रॉसियस यहाँ लगा देते हैं पामर एंड डॉर्सल पामर एंड डॉर्सल पामर एंड डॉर्सल उसके बाद ओपोनेंस फ्लेक्सर एबडक्टर ओपोनेंस फ्लेक्सर एबडक्टर डिजिटाई मिनिमाई एंड पॉलिस उसके बाद एडक्टर पॉलिस ठीक है इसके बाद हम लोग जो हैं देन वी विल पुट पामर एफेनोरोसिस विच इज फ्रॉम द पामर इज लॉन्गेस्ट मसल एंड देन वी विल पुट टेंडन्स these tendons are khatam ho gaye these tendons are yahan pe intermediate septum ho gaya ye mid palmar space skinner space this is the flexor pollicis longus digitorum profundus four tendon superficialis four tendon profundus four tendon and we have we all remember रिमेंबर दिस मच देन दिस इज द एबडक्टर पॉलिसिस बीवस बट हियर विल बी द एबडक्टर पॉलिसिस लॉन्गेस्ट टेंडन देन एक्सटेंसर पॉलिसिस बीवस टेंडन और राइट देन एक्सटेंसर काफा रेडियल इज लॉन्गस्ट एंड बीवस और राइट एक्सटेंसर इंडिसीज चार एक्सटेंसर डिजिटोरम राइट Now we pass this nerve. This is the ulna nerve. The superficial branch is here. Five centimeters above the wrist, it has supplied the palmaris brevis. The superficial branch will supply one and a half digits. Ulna digits, okay? Ulna side digits. and will communicate with the superficial branch of the median right the deep branch will pass between flexor and abductor digiti minimi here will pierce the opponents will supply third and fourth lumbricals will supply all intraosseous all right supply all intraosseous and will end in the transverse head of adductor pollicis correct hmm right so the ulnar nerve paralysis will paralyze flexor carpi ulnaris it will paralyze flexor digitorum profundus 3 and 4 it will paralyze the palmar carpal branch which supplies the palmar and brevis and the skin it will cause paralyze the superficial branch of ulna nerve which means sensory loss to 1 and 1/2 digits it will paralyze the hypothena causing wasting and positive guava test guava test hai huh? guava test abductor digiti minimi wala hmm. all right it will paralyze the third and fourth lumbricals resulting in ulnar claw hand 
the function of the third and fourth lumbrical, you know, is flexion of the MP joint and extension of PIP and DIP joint. But here what has happened, reverse of this is cloid, MP extension, PIP, DIP, flexion. But when we say that FDP third, fourth is paralyzed in a high paralysis, the flexion of the distal interphalangeal joint will not be there. So the deformity ulnar flow hand will become lesser. So this is, this is called as ulnar paradox. Then it will paralyze all intro OCI and this leads to what is called as card test. Then it will paralyze transverse head of adductor pollicis. This is called as book test or froment sign. So these are the physical signs that indicate ulna nerve paralysis. The treatment of ulna nerve is decompression. You can decompress it medically by steroids or changing anti-leprosy drugs to clofazamine, withdrawing DDS or you can decompress it sur surgically in the canal of Canon or the Guain canal here below the pisiohamet ligament. But if there is a residual paralysis, you will have to deal with lumbricals, third and fourth lumbrical, and you may have to deal with transverse head of adductor pollicis. So how do you deal with lumbricals? This is what we have to discuss. The so first is FDS of third. This is called as bundle All right. <coughs> then you can have <coughs> flexor carpi radialis. Then extensor carpi radialis brevis, which is called as grand. Then extensor indices and extensor digiti minima. These are the tendon transfers. These are the tendon the way. Then the next thing that you can do is you can do a capsule capsuloplasty of the MP joints causing a flexion contracture at the MP joint that is called as Zancoli's capsuloplasty or you can simply produce a skin contracture on the distal transverse palmar crease so this is called as trichies. So FDC 3 or 2, which is banal. So these are the various operations available for restoration of numbricals. And for adductor pollicis, you have to take extensor indices. Extensor indices can go into adductor pollicis. So these are the various tendon transfers of various surgeries for ulnar claw head. Then we start talking about the median nerve. The median nerve gives the palmar carpal branch. Okay. Right here. This is the palmar carpal branch. Then it gives a superficial branch which supplies three and a half digits and also communicates with the ulnar. The deep branch passes under the carpal tunnel, in the carpal tunnel, between abductor and flexor. 
pierces the opponents and ends in first and second lumbering. So primarily median nerve involvement around the wrist allows you the opponents to fail. Allows the opponents to fail. Besides this, it is primarily sensory. So it can lead to carpal tunnel syndrome, sensory loss in three and a half fingers, and then this. So it leads to what is called as the Ape thumb deformity and the sign is called as pen test. Okay. The second thing is that FDS is paralyzed and FDP is also paralyzed, so it leads to pointing index. Pointing index is very simple to deal The FDP of the first and second can be used to FDP third and fourth. Okay, so so that comes back. And for this opponents, you do what is called as opponents plus. <coughs> now, the important thing about opponents plus T is that you need to treat the contracture of the first web space. First. You have to make sure that there is no contracture of the first web space because there is a very wide angle width for this contracture, see. So there has to be no contracture of the first web space. You may have to deal with skin, subcutaneous tissue, deep fascia, dorsal interosseous. And you may have to do a Z-plasty of the skin here. The second important thing is that the carpometacarpal joint must be, carpometacarpal joint must be painful, painless and stable. So painless, stable joint is the second requirement. And when you start thinking of opponent's plasty, you can say fixed origin transfer, fixed insertion transfer, and intrinsic transfer. The fixed origin transfer is FD, FDS of third. So you take the FDS of third, root it around the pulley of flexor carpa ulnaris, and insert it around the thumb in a circumferential manner. That is called as riordans. Or you take it through the subcutaneous tissue, make a pulley in the subcutaneous tissue here, and insert it equal distance into the abductor pollicis brevis equidistant from the axis of movement of flexion extension. Same tension, same tension of this and this slip, equidistant from the axis of movement. This say ki isko khali ye abduct kare, flex or extend na kare. That is Brand's transfer. So Brand's subcutaneous pulley Y-shaped insertion into abductor pollicis brevis. Riordan's FCU pulley, flexor carpal nares pulley, and circumferential insertion into the thumb. So, so there are two transfers that are attributed to FDS3. Now the fixed insertion transfer is that you take the extensor pollicis brevis tendon its insertion is fixed and you can use as a motor flexa carpi radialis FCR flexa carpi radialis palmaris longus flexa carpi 
or extensor carpal nerus. Any of these can act as a motor, but the insertion is fixed. Extensor pollicis is previous. Okay, so that is called as fixed insertion transfer. It is also called as Phelan Miller procedure. It is also called as Okay. And intrinsic is that you take the abductor digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, turn it like this and insert it onto abductor pollicis previous. That is called as Littler's transfer. That is called as Littler's transfer. Then in the radial nerve, you have wrist drop, finger drop, and thumb drop. So for the wrist drop, you take pronator teres. For the thumb drop, you take palmaris longus. And for the finger drop, you take flexor carpi laris. That is called as Robert Jones transfer. So these are the various transfers various surgeries done for paralytic. Is this clear? Yes. 